What's going on everybody? It's your man Adrian today here with Frag Hits. And today we're gonna be doing another short, quick, sweet, simple sample size video. You might be out there looking to see if you should pick up this fragrance or not. You already know what it is, but I have literally no clue. I'm gonna be picking it out randomly out of a bowl of a bunch of different samples that I bought a while ago from stuff that are indie, designer, and niche, and all kinds of other stuff that's out there. I have no clue what it is. You already know, so you got me beat to the punch, but you might be considering, hey, should I pick this up or should I pass on by or should I go ahead and buy a sample size? Well, hopefully this will help you decide what you should do. And today, what are we going to be talking about are number one, longevity, number two, projection, number three, what the notes are in this thing, and number four, what it smells like. I'm going to try to give you a visual representation if it could trigger something in you to kind of give you that idea of what this reminds me of personally. So let's go ahead and hit that intro roll. But before we do that, why don't you go ahead and put on that juice that makes you feel loose so you can smell like Zeus and let's get into it. All right, thank you guys for coming back in. Do me a solid one if you like this content or anything that I'm putting out there, do me a solid. I'm a small channel, hit that like, comment, and subscribe. If there's something that you want me to smell personally, hit me up in the comments below. And if I pick it up, I'll even mention you in the video by name. So cool, I'll do you a solid, you do me a solid. So I am gonna go ahead and grab this bowl. All kinds of good stuff in here. As you can see, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna close my eyes. Bulgari Man Terry Essence. All right, so what we got is Bulgari Man Terry Essence. So this is what it looks like on the inside, closing my eyes. I don't wanna know what the look, notes look like. I'll take a picture of it, put it up on the screen so that way you can kinda of get a better representation. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a card. Grab a card back here. And again, I do not want to know anything about it. I'm just going to spray it on just like you would at the store. You're not going to have all the notes. You're not going to have all the information on it. So I want you to get a real deal review. Ooh, that's got a lot of sprays. So you can see, put some good wetness up in there. And again, I do this in the air purposely to kind of dry it off. Sometimes Fragrances need a second to cool down, to settle in, let those notes blend, mesh in together so you get the true complexity of it. And sometimes it will change throughout the duration of the day because you're going to have those top notes that are going to break down a little bit quicker. So that's what you're going to immediately pick up. If it smells different later on, I'll put it in the card. I'll put it in the, in the notes so what it changes to. Um, duration of time. So the longevity, I don't yet know. I'll put that down below right about her somewhere like in this area vicinity that way you know how long it lasts on the car projection i'm pushing out into the room and i do this so that way i kind of see what it actually does when it's projecting the room because again when you're walking around you're moving and stuff like that you're not standing in one place sometimes you are but you want to see how far it's going to push so i'm going to do a quick walk around and see how far this is actually pushed off of me do a little full 360 and aerated in the room and now that the notes say actually have settled down on the card let's see give it a little sniff Ooh, this is very masculine. I just came in here and it smelled like Shakespeare. If Shakespeare were a damn cowboy and hawk's nest and boat fuel and cigars and burning yeah, yeah, man yeah. stuff. This is actually uh, a darker fragrance. This is, this is not the fresh out of the shower. This is not that note at all. This actually has a strength to it it's very it's very um dark and rich and vivacious uh and a little earthy this is actually um subtly sweet but it's very it's very aromatic it's not like hey i'm angry i'm grabbing your attention i'm not letting it go Get over this is a very masculine fragrance and you put this on you are making a statement this is a power suit and tie fragrance. You put this on and you command attention type of deal. Um, the, what I'm gonna guess on the notes on this, I have no fucking clue. Honestly, <laughs> I have no clue. 
this is this is just wiping me out completely i have no idea what the notes are whatsoever the only thing i can say is there's got to be some musk in this and there's probably some amber in the base because those are only two things i can really truly pick out on this and it's really weird there's something citrus but i have no idea what note it is because it's so it's so masculine it's grabbing my attention that much it's not making me stop to think and break it down i'm just enjoying what it's doing in the air so there's not many fragrances that actually will do that but this is one of them so i'm gonna go ahead and get the notes now this is bulgari man Thierry essence and i'm pulling this up to see what the notes are on this and it's not it's not complex it's not complex at all there's literally only six notes in this but they're just performing very well together um i'm gonna give you the full note brain up i'm gonna put it up on the screen for you all right so what we got in this is citron i would have never guessed it seriously uh calamansi again would have never guessed that uh vetiver i yeah i could definitely pick up the vetiver now that he actually pointed out it's there it's present uh, vetiver has this a uh, very distinctive smell to it it's like uh, vetiver has like a woody green smell to it so like it's very think of like fresh uh a fresh pine, uh fresh pine, not a pine tree but a fresh cut lumber almost that's what kind of reminds me of a little bit sometimes um just like clean very clean very fresh very inviting and then as you can see on the screen it has earthy notes and then it has Styrax. All right, so what Styrax is, a, a balsamic note with some like woody nuances to it. Uh, it kind of looks like, like tree sap sometimes. That's where basically they get it from. So depending on how they get it from the tree and the method that it's taken out of the tree or the type of tree that it's taken from, it has some different complexities to it. So not all Styrax is gonna be smelling exactly the same. So uh, it, it really depends on how it's blended and how it meshes into, into it. All right, so what this reminds me of is a power suit. This reminds me of walking in to that 75 story building in a black power suit. Like you're walking into a business meeting that you're about to close a 400, 500 million dollar deal. Like you're literally about to close the once a year deal that you're gonna like, fuck it. I close this deal, I'm good for the rest of the year type of nonsense I mean man, I'm hungry you know I gotta eat and I'll be doing more of those I don't care but this is this is a, a power play corporate type of fragrance when you want to command attention when you walk into the room and you want to grab those people's attention this is what you rock this is what makes me that's what this makes me think of very masculine somewhat musky like like this dude just came from the gym and he's rocking a black suit and tie, looking fresh, sharp, and clean. I'm here to close the deal type of dude. I'm here to do business with you. I'm about to make some money today. This is what that fragrance smells like. So on a scale of one to 10, what I personally mean in my nose, what, what I would say with this one, is this one is a fragrance that you're not gonna wear every single day. This is a, a very specific type of occasion fragrance. And for that specific type of occasion, when you're going in as a power play, I would give this as a, as a eight, as a, I would give this probably like a 7.8, about a 7.8, 7.8 to an eight. Now, again, as an everyday fragrance, everyday fragrance, nah. I would, I, I would drop it down in that category of like a six and a half to maybe a seven. But in the instances where I'm talking about where you're trying to look super professional, you're trying to command attention in that room, you're trying to gain that attention and make them look at you, that this right here, that's an eight because that's what this is going to do. All right, so that about does it for this video. I truly appreciate you guys tuning in with this. And if you like this content, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out. And if you really like it and you were about to buy it, hey, put it in the comments. Hey, this helped me or this didn't help me. Tell me how to map. Tell me how you want me to do these reviews. Because at the end of the day, you are the most important thing. I want to make sure that I'm creating content that is going to be usable to the end user. And if I'm doing it wrong, or if you want to see me do something, please 
let me know. I'm cool with it. I'll modify it, critique it. Criticism can be used in a bad way or criticism, criticism can be used in a good way. Let me know what you think and I'll adjust accordingly because at the end of the day, as long as you're happy, I'm good with it. Cool? And I'll catch you guys on the next one.